Medical researchers at the University of Alberta recently discovered the first steps in preventing physical disabilities caused by multiple sclerosis. To proceed, however, drugs must yet be developed that will prevent destruction of brain cells caused by MS. Dr. Johannes Haley is a key member of the U of A research team and explains what MS is. Once you get MS, is there is cognitive deficit. It affects almost every part of our body. There is a problem in the eye, a problem in the bladder, a problem in physical motor coordination, a uh, problem in uh, uh, cognitive deficit. Uh, it affects almost every part of our body. Once they are in, within one hour, they destroy the nerve cell, as we see here. Is there a particular age group that's more susceptible to MS? Generally, it's between 20 to 40. These are the susceptibility, but sometimes we see also kids with MS. Especially. And often women. Often women, too. Yeah, yeah to want to more, try. more common. More right? common, yeah. 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 Haley's group discovered that if the so-called granzyme B is prevented from entering human neurons during the first phase of MS, physical damage to the patient could be minimal compared to present. So what we discovered in this study is we identified the detailed paths or mechanism how these inflammatory cells kill the nerve cell. So the next step is to find a drug that will actually work to prohibit the enzymes. Definitely, that is what we are doing. Ultimately, MS researchers require new medications that can either repair inflamed brain cells or prevent brain degeneration in the first place. It's highly complex disease, highly heterogeneous disease. That's one of the challenges, you know. When a drug comes, that drug might work on certain patients, not on other patients. So this is one of the challenges that we have. It'll take several years to develop the required drugs to prevent brain cell death in the early stages of the disease. And as always, in any medical science, the process will involve testing and human trials. Expect more announcements regarding MS research in the near future. Tim Dancy, Shaw TV, Capital Region.